Today we're going to take a look at some of the most ridiculous units this game has seen in a long time. Starting with Tracer from Overwatch. No, I'm not kidding. It's Tracer complete with kawaii eyes and far, far too big of a chest, as well as see-through pants. But the big question is, does she have her abilities from Overwatch? That seems to be the pulse bomb sucking the units in followed by massive explosion and she does seem to have her blasters that are very effective but one of the big questions i have is well maybe that is the blink but does she have the recall if we take a look at her ability she just put a bomb on herself and look at her move around and rewind time to gain all of her hp back this unit is awesome this is what totally accurate battle simulator is all about powerful units destroying baby little tiny units but how does she fare against something stronger let's remove the night faction shall we and instead we will include a small army of pea shooters from plants versus zombies is this gonna go well i don't know she oh my goodness the pea shooters actually have some heat seeking capabilities she's bombing the front line dodging the peas like crazy we're in full-on pea machine gun mode i wonder how much damage these pea shooters are actually dealing to her let me take control of her she is taking damage and she is able to blink out of the way but i want to see the recall ability in action let's see it come on come on come on there we go she does the recall she winds back time and she's able to gain back a ton of hp she's back to full life that's really, really powerful. But obviously these pea shooters that are in machine gun mode, look at the machine guns coming out of their mouths. That is fantastic. Yeah, Tracer's stronger than them. But uh, there is someone much, much, much stronger that she needs to fight. Pea shooters, pea shooters, not good enough. Give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these lovely Sans who are now summoning bone prisons on Tracer, locking her into place, firing off the gasser blasters, firing off the bone waves. I summoned a bunch of them because they are one shot a move. You do shoot them? Oh, hold on, she's used her recall. They might be able to deal her enough damage to prevent her from recalling. If there is a cooldown, there's the gasser blasters going off and they pulled it off. She can only use recall so many times without cooldown. Now the big test, a single Thanos. Pretty sure Thanos should mop the floor with her who used her his space stone to teleport behind her. There is the time stone freezing her in place, the power stone hitting her for damage. She did a recall and now we've got the other purple space stone. Or was that the soul stone? Where did she go? Does, did, 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 Thanos teleport her across the map? Guys, uh, she's gone? She's missing. I don't know what's going on here, and I can't quite find her. I will give this victory to Thanos, but that's not the only unit we need to see today. This right here is Doom Guy, the main character from the Doom video game series of a lone man going against hordes and hordes of demons. He has a beautiful blasting weapon, a beautiful slicing weapon, and a shoulder-mounted weapon. This is not Halo. This is not Master Chief. This is the Doom guy who doesn't really have a name as far as I know. I want to see what the Doom guy is capable of. He is able to use the shotgun at range and takes arrows in the face. But as soon as the enemies get close, he pulls out this energy blade and goes to town. But we're not seeing any shoulder mounted action so far. So far, he seems to be a pretty basic unit with a shotgun blast. Oh, he threw a freezing grenade which I imagine would be very effective against the hordes of fire related demons. But what is that green energy beam? Is it a healing factor? Oh, he's firing corpses. <laughs> I don't think he mean to do that. Okay, hold on. Arrows hit me. Okay, I saw the, the green orb. I'm healing myself. Look, look, Doom Guy's healing himself. He actually is taking damage, but it heals. Is that the green ability? Does he have a self healing ability? Is he using like a health pack from the game or a potion? or something like that. I think we need to put that healing factor to the test though. Let's remove the army. Let me add a few gift bringers and maybe some candy bolts. I want to hit this guy with the power of Christmas as she shotgun blasts. Poor Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. There we go, Santa Claus is getting involved. The candy pulps have summoned armies of enemies and poor Doom guy is getting stuck on the carriage, which is luckily sinking away and that's good. But the candy pulse did murder the- Oh, here we go. So they only have a limited lifespan. But here are the candy soldiers, complete with cookie shields and candy cane swords. I don't think Doom Guy ever expected to fight Christmas. And if we take control of Doom Guy, yeah, he still has 
this super crazy healing factor, but I think that green aura is all about. We need something even stronger, something to be able to deal with the healing factor. We don't need the candy army anymore. I want to do the sans test, the sans test, the comic sans test. Equal power, 10 sans versus one doom guy. There's a gas blasters. Okay, you can overpower the healing factor. Let's reduce the number of sons. I'm going to cut the sons in half and I'm going to possess doom guy. He's stuck in a doom prison. He's stuck in a bone prison. Gaster blaster. You did see the healing going off. Five gaster blasters is enough. Let's drop it to three. Gaster blasters. Bone prison. Here we go. Gasters. Healing factor. Healing factor. Trying. He is alive. He seems to heal about 10% of his HP every second. Oh, the green aura is a more active heal. So he always has a passive heal. You can see it in effect right now, but eventually he will use that green aura and it instantly heals him. He's using a health pack. He's using something like that. That's really, really cool. But what about Doom Guy versus two tracers? Equal power. Remember, the tracers have a recall and he has a self heal. Could this fight go on for all eternity? Potentially. Let me see how much damage he is taking from the tracers. Not a lot. Bomb? Oh, if they could do a double stack of the bomb ability, they would be able to take out Doom Guy, no problem. Yo, I'm zooming as Doom Guy. The sword. Let's go. This is so cool. If I could just aim prop. And I'm in the floor. And they both just recalled. Okay, let's try and get one of these down. If we can kill her before her recall comes back on, we will be able. Yep, there's the throw the freeze. Come on, hit her, hit her. Take her down, Doom Guy. You gotta do it. Okay, I'm gonna unpossess Doom Guy. Doom Guy's dead. Doom Guy went to the floor. <laughs> he has a strong healing factor, but he doesn't deal a ton of damage. So in that case, Thanos should deal with Doom Guy pretty quickly. Oh, Doom Guy is skewered on the sword, frozen with the Time Stone. And oh, that's the Soul Stone. What does the Soul Stone do? Does it stop his healing? Does it give him healing? Uh. Did you just banish Doom Guy to another dimension? This is the unit I really wanted to see. Say hello to Homelander, who is like Superman, but much, much meaner, nastier, and overall nowhere near as pleasant. He does have a ground and pound. He does have the eye beams, which is awesome because now that the eye beams are in the game, we can give other superheroes eye beams such as Cyclops, such as Superman. But uh, yeah, Homelander is just an angry, mean, horrible Superman. So let's give him a more appropriate test, shall we? I don't know if this Homelander can even take damage. So I've got 20 sands, 20 sands here. Bone prison. Oh my goodness. I need to possess him. Oh, you can kill Homelander. He has HP. Oh, I did not know that. That's a lot of gaster blasters though. Dear my goodness. Let me just cut these guys down to 10. Let's see if 10 gaster blasters is enough. There he is. Bone prison locked. Wow. Homelander is not OP. Let me drop it down to like three. Three of them. Can Homelander do it? There we go. Homelander can punch all three. What if I spread them out? What if I go here, here, and here? Can Homelander take care of this situation now? Bone prison, lock in place, single gaster blaster. Okay, Homelander can do three. What about Homelander versus five tracers who are actually killing themselves? The explosive ability, which by the way, in Overwatch, if you're hit with that, you can kill yourself with your own pulse bomb. The pulse bombs are not doing the job. Homelander's HP is at half. So it was the pulse bombs. The pulse bombs were a bit of a problem. The eye laser is doing great damage. She's using her blink ability to move away. She's got the recall ability to get back his HP or her HP. And Homelander is taking a... Whoa, the pulse bombs deal insane damage. Homelander is very injured right now. This is not what I expected. I expected Homelander to stay alive, to have near infinite HP, but Homelander can die. And if one of these pulse bombs catches him, he's done and it's over. And I'm hoping the tracer can do it. But look at Homelander's HP. It's almost done. Let me see if I can kill Tracer with Homelander trying to ground and pound using where are my eye lasers. Wait, what? 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 Yes, yeah, so you are the Homelander. Where is the Tracer? She's under the ground. Can I? Can I do a suicide move and see if I can get to the Tracer in time? The, 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 the. Oh, where am I? I'm in the ground. I'm in the ground. I'm under the ground. I'm trying to did I do it. Ah, uh, Tracer one. That was close. All right, all right. Remove the Tracers. Give me Homelander versus. 
Thanos. Pretty sure Thanos is gonna mop the floor with Homelander because Homelander can take damage. Homelander has HP and Thanos has the Time Stone, the Power Stone, the Soul Stone, the Space Stone, and every single one Thanos is way, way, way stronger than Homelander. It's not even close, guys. 